hey, I was going to make you another video because you were making fun of me for making videos of some projects, so I thought I'd go all out. Um, first of all, today we're going to talk about boxes. Boxes were invented over 40 years ago as a means to hold things. You can see here's a few that I have made. Most recently, I made this one. It's just out of poplar. Nothing special, really. It's got uh, these finger joints. It's got this little divot here for your fingers and a sliding lid with a lip. It's a small little thing. It can take long. Anyway, I figured I need to take a break from making boxes. So I'm going to go out and make one more project. And I'm going to see how fast I can do it. So it's like 6 o'clock. I'm going to head out and see if I can. I can't do the whole thing today because there's two glue steps. So I have to wait for glue to dry. But we'll see how quick we can do. I just went out and I found this piece of walnut and this piece of maple. I'm going to make a I think I'm going to try to make two identical little boxes, probably smaller even than this, maybe only like two-thirds of the height and two-thirds of the length, maybe something like that, uh, with miter joints and little veneer keys, venereal keys, and with a walnut, uh, with a maple sliding top, and bottom. Hello, Bubba. Go away. So, that is the goal. I'm going to make two fine craftsmanship, tiny useless little boxes as efficiently as probable. And then um, I'm going to put down my box making tool for a while. And if I want to make something, I'll, I guess I'll have to make something other than a box because I've made several boxes, as you can see. Want to head into the workshop? Let's go. Okay. First thing, we need to do a little bit of calculating to see how big is our box going to be and get that laid out. We have settled on one and a half inches tall, um, two inches wide, and four inches long. So I'm going to get that laid out here on this piece of wood. And we're going to do most of the work cutting the grooves and stuff on this piece while it's big. That's for safety. Okay. So first things we're going to do, we've got this board. We're going to make two whole boxes out of one little strip of this board. So we're going to run the whole strip through. I've got the table saw blade set up, so it's just barely poking out of the table. We're going to run a groove, two grooves through, one that's going to hold the top and one that's going to hold the bottom. bottom. That's a little too skinny for our maple wood to fit in. This won't quite fit in there. So what we'll do is we'll just nudge the fence a little bit. We'll make that cut over again, making this groove a little wider. Now I've got the first groove cut on the very edge of the box. This will either hold the top or the bottom. And I had to make a couple passes to make it wide enough so that it just holds that piece of maple.
I almost forgot I was going to uh, put a little bit of a round over on the top edge of the box, box edge. So we'll go over to the router table and do that now. Two grooves on it, one for the top, one for the bottom, one for the top. So now we will reconfigure the table saw, put a 45 degree angle on the blade, and we'll start cutting the sides out. Okay, got the blade cut at 45 degrees now. Always a pain in the ass. I'll take another just a little bit of adjustment. And what we'll use to make the cut, which is really handy because these pieces are so small, is this little sled that I built. It's got these, I waxed the bottom of it. It's got these two runners that fit in the miter slots on my saw. Slides back and forth and gives us a nice control surface to cut. So we'll start with a short one. And all I gotta do is take this block out. I need to make it just a little nibble cut to get the angle pointed the right way. And now, I slide it all the way to the first block. That gives me the dimension of a long... Oh my, pardon me. So we'll do a long... Now we'll put the block back on, and that keeps us at the exact same spot we were before. Slide it through. Now we'll get another short side, the same length as the first one. Actually, made a mistake there. So we're going to have to do that again. I should have flipped the board over, I forgot. Take the block back out. This time we'll remember to flip it over. And what I've done now, I should have two identical long pieces. Now we've got the pieces. Box. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to make the other one a little bit smaller to make up for that wood that I lost. Next up, we're going to cut off a lip of one short side so that the lid can slide in and out. We're going to use the old hand saw to accomplish this. And I've already got a groove right in there so I know right where to cut. Have one more to do on the other box. Well, that was about an hour and a half. A little bit less, because I did clean up too. Now we are ready to glue up these boxes. Okay, 
So these are the boxes. All that work. This is the big one, and this is the even littler one. They're clamped up and waiting for the glue to dry. <laughs>